Hey, I'm Anders Thompson. You're watching Talking Dirt. You know, in, in Tokliati was my first podium and that was a crazy feeling. I remember when I was a young kid and looked up to the guys in the Grand Prix. I told my dad I, I want to be there one day. And uh, when I step up on the podium at third position, I'm, I'm pretty sure I was the happiest guy uh, on the podium in that time. It was a crazy feeling uh, to stand up there and all body was, uh, was shaking. Um, and I was just thinking about, you see that I'm, I'm in the, on the podium right now. Is your dad going to be here? Yeah, tomorrow. Is that added pressure or do you think that's going to build you up to, to perform no, better? No, I'm not going to think about it. You're not going to think about no. it? No. No? No. When I'm away from the speedway, I love to race go-karts. So today I'm here in Voyne's go-kart and have some laps uh, before the Grand Prix. The go-kart I got is not like the standard one. Uh, some you rent if you go to some places and ride the go-kart. That one I have is two-stroke with six gears and it's crazy fast. And they have like from zero to 100 is around two seconds. Uh, yeah, this is this is my home track. I, I do the Danish League here. Uh, had a pretty good season so far, um, and uh, very soon we have the final, and we actually won the the main uh, league this year. So hopefully we can kick some in the final. It's Denmark's national uh, speedway stadium. Ole Olsen built it back in days, and now his son take over Ole, uh, Jakob Olsen and uh, rebuild everything and. I like to, to come here because always presentable and grass is cut and looks really, really great. Also, my sponsors is pretty happy to be here. I am really excited for tomorrow. Uh, you know, the day before, I'm always just chilling, have some fun, uh, do what I normally do. So I'm not nervous and thinking and too much about it, you know, always important with a good sleep. Yeah, hopefully I have some fans here so, so I can feel my, my hair is standing on my arms. Uh, when they make the presentation or even when I go on the podium, yeah. <laughs> hopefully. Let's hope. Yeah. <laughs> and the boys are ready? Boys are ready. Yeah, you see, they like, they like young kids with the phone in their hands all the time. All the time, mate. Making important business calls or? Uh, no. No. No, speaking with some chicks. Which one the, is the, the luckiest one? With chicks? Yeah. Uh, none. None of them. No, none of them. No, no, no. You see, he, he looked like a boxer. He thinks so. You have some kilos on since last fight. I don't have problem with the weight. Hmm? I feel them the... It's the high? Yeah. Yeah, you know. It's just not so high. What's the plan for tonight? A little bit of PlayStation, uh, playing a little bit with the dogs, and boys a little bit in the workshop, maybe play a little bit darts. That's it. Darts is a good one, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won the last two. But he's pretty good at it. Do you have uh, like forfeits or like push-ups or something if you lose? No, uh, slapping the ass. Slapping the ass. Yes. <laughs> also, if they win. Yeah. Well, slap, just slapping the ass. Yeah, everyone slapping. Yeah, everyone just slap. <laughs> and this, of course, with underpants and everything yeah, down. And down. <laughs> Big whack. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the boys and say, "Hey, we cut it down. It's my spot." Yeah. Boys. Batek have my pits, just go cut the sign down and change that. Eh? It's my spot. I have it all the time, even in the Danish final, and so you can have it. You must change. Yeah. Who does he think he is? Who the heck? Ah, oh, it's talks. Let's go find my spot. They're not even clean it. It's a little bit dirty, isn't it? Hi, mate. All good? Yeah, good. We have one mistake. Only mistake? One mistake. One the mistake. name. My name sign, the, the sign for my name, is in the wrong position, mate. I have my own spot. So, bad take. No? No, you can't make me, sorry. No? This is not on film. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no film in this side. Uh, I can't. i got to do it in championship order. If I do it everywhere, I have to do it every track, you know? I have yeah, to fix it. Yeah, I know, I know. They did say to me, they did try, and they said, oh, this is Anders' spot. 
He's still filming, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Say now about the wildcard next year. Yeah, I'll give you the wildcard. <laughs> <laughs> and I have it on video. Yeah, that's what he was. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Where's your talker? I said he's My boy. My boy. I won the Danish championship and I just took everything off. The lot. Yeah, and ride around <laughs> naked on the bike. He, so he, he, he got the nomination for like the three funniest things. Yeah, and I yeah. win. And he won wow. the, yeah, on national <laughs> <Yeah>. TV. <laughs> I haven't seen that. That's uh, got to be on the internet somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, it is. somewhere. Oh, yeah, a lot of. Yeah. One year ago, and I won the first time, and I won the Danish championship here. Uh, we have doping tests, and, and I go in and pissing, and I just came out of the room. The the TV was on. So hey, hey, and I say, how was it in there? I say, it's always great when somebody want to look at my <laughs> life in TV, mate. Life, life. Did you explain then what you meant? He, he, no. no. <laughs> and he was in all the talk shows in Denmark. Oh my god. Hey, it's good. It's good to be talked about one way or the other. Exactly, yeah. There was people everywhere in, in that day. <laughs> <laughs>Steve, can you tell us a little bit about what happens in this truck? So, what happens in this truck is basically that all the cameras that are taken around the uh, pitch and the track uh, that are placed can be switched under the instructions of a director who sits in this seat. This in front of me is what he uses to effectively switch the cameras with, um, and it's called a vision mixer. And every broadcast truck you see, and every broadcast truck the, uh, around the world, that not only Speedway uses, but broadcasters use, has one of these devices. And this purely switches uh, all the um, cameras. Um, it also, from this position, he commands what happens with the sound, which is next door. And that's also looked after by a sound director. And also, through this, he operates and tells the EVS guys, which are these guys over here, and they are the guys who then give you all your instant replays uh, that the public see. So, well, basically, in Grand Prix terms, we have um, 11, 12, 13 cameras. Some are fixed around the track and some are RF, as we call them, which is the ones you see running around the pits and getting us all these extra shots. And basically, in the truck, you'll have myself as the producer overviewing, You'll have a director here and you'll have also, you've got the, the graphics as well. So the graphics are uh, here. But this is where our home is for the three hours of transmission throughout the day and uh, the evening. And it's what we create here is a world feed. It's known as a world feed. And from here, this then goes into somewhere like BT Sport or Canal Plus uh, or equivalent. Uh, and they will put a studio in front of all these, these signals that we give them. So that's how come it arrives in your lounge or your living room with uh, the respective studio in front of it. One, two, three, one, two, three. So dude, how's the track? Uh, track is it's all right, a uh, bit different one it, from uh, what it normally is here. A uh, little bit more loose material. Um, I can say that much um, last time we had a, a league meeting here, it was rain off and they tried to, to take some of the dirt off and, and they put it back on now. Uh, not now, but, but uh, a few weeks ago, and, and it's a little bit inconsistent. Uh, but the track guys are uh, working on the track uh, pretty hard uh, to, to get it fixed and get back to normal. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm super focused and I'm sure uh, it, it's going to be okay. How's the fans here? They're going to go crazy for you? Uh, I'm sure the fans really want uh, a Dane to win here. Uh, it's back in 2012, last time a Dane win in, uh, in Denmark for a Grand Prix. So, so for sure, uh, the fans uh, go crazy if Dan gonna win, and um, of course, I'm sure the, the three Danes are gonna gonna fight for it, and, and I will do all what I can um, to make uh, to make it happen. Uh, of course, I race for the fans, but most of myself uh, to show off that uh, uh, I need a spot for next season in the Grand Prix.
Broadway Grand Prix, sponsored by Echo, Mr. Hatem Lakuta. Congratulations, dude. Leading the world title. Yeah, I'm very happy. Can't wait for Woo! How's that been on the podium? Uh, brilliant, mate. Uh, I'm really happy about the third place, but uh, I'm really hungry, you know, to be to be first, you know, today. So, uh, yeah, feel good, you know, it's uh, good speed, and uh, but uh, anyway, you know, it's, uh, we're still uh, working hard, you know, to be to be better and better so i would like to say just thanks to my team you know it's working you know it's really hard and help me you know it's uh, uh to be here and uh to be in podium brilliant two more rounds to go see what happens yeah Woo! looking forward <laughs> so dude wasn't the night you was uh you was hoping for it was absolutely not the night i was hoping for um i, I feel i was prepared for the night uh but you know uh, it's racing and I didn't really find the right setup, so I'm a little bit disappointed for tonight. Uh, but I keep my head up. Uh, there's still uh, two more rounds to go, and uh, I need to finish out good to show them uh, I'm worth to be in the in the Grand Prix. So Oliver, it's not been the season that you've been expecting. Not really. <laughs> you had a nightmare in uh, Prague with, with your engine blowing to pieces, and then we heard there's an even bigger story in in, in Russia. Yeah, you know it's. Like you said, the whole season has been nothing, nothing what you want, but uh, it's been a struggle. But you know that's how it is sometimes. About Russia, yeah, it's everything was planned to perfection. I thought maybe it wasn't that smart to not send any engines in the crates, but that's the situation we were in. You know, we didn't, we were in the middle of changing tuner. You know, we we basically didn't know what we were gonna ride on, so. We sent empty bikes and I checked with different riders, I checked with the airline and they said it was no worries. Other riders sent engines, so all looked green and uh, we get to the airport, we check in the engines, we pay extra, everything is fine. Check them in on special baggage, go through the security, go up to board the plane and uh, just as we show our tickets, the, the guy from the airlines come, comes running and said, They've taken off my engines because it's, they think it's dangerous goods. Two, three minutes left until they close the doors on the airplane and I have to make a decision what to do. So how did you get over this? Yeah, well, I called, I just said, well, if I don't have any engines, there's no point going. You know, so I just said, we're not going to them. And I called to Phil and said, hey, mate, I'm not coming to Russia. You know, I, they took my engines off, so I have nothing to ride on. But he's, he said then it's, it's better just to come. We run to the plane basically, get in just before they close the doors. Just r run through the airplane, back to our seats, and then we see Team Doyle. And just, they wonder what's going on, you know. We told them the story and Jason just said straight away, you can lend, you can, you can have my spare engine, you know, and we'll sort that out later, so. Wow. Yeah, top bloke. So, top guy. Yeah. All right, dude. Well, let's hope Torren is uh, the best GP yet for, this, <laughs> for the season for you. Yeah, hope oh, both of them, yeah. yeah. All on Torren. Go all in. Put Go all the money in. in. <laughs> You're going to get naked if you win? Sure. <laughs> for sure.